Welcome to Prepke Trading Strategies. As always, this is for educational purposes only. Do your own research and trade responsibly. Then I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how I use Fibonacci retracement on Weeble. And it's not hard. Let's rip this band-aid off quick. All right. First thing, I would suggest only using Fibonacci on the daily. Um, trying to use it on 15 minute or even the one minute charts is maddening so I wouldn't suggest it so I'm going to show you right now where to make sure that you got your charts set up we want 1M one day that's your daily charts so we're going to click on that and now we're going to find support and resistance which will be recent highs and lows and I see a recent low of 555 and a recent high of 1585 so what we will do try to make this so you can see a little better is we're going to drag our Fibonacci from support to resistance. And support would be the recent low, and resistance would be the recent high. And how we find that, excuse me, is right up there, there's that little four squares in the corner, or rather the little drawing Tool. We want to click on that and it gives you a list of choices, trend lines, horizontal line, vertical line, and then you'll see Fibonacci retracement. That's what we want. So quickly we're just going to click on Fibonacci retracement and wherever you touch on the screen it's going to set the starting point and then the next touch that you touch is going to be the ending point. So you, yeah, and you don't have to get it perfect right away, but just try to touch on the screen as close to five dollars and fifty-five cents as you can, and then tap at the high fifteen eighty-five. And then, if you want to adjust it, the two red dots. You want to hold it, and then in the corner, you'll see way up there in the corner fifteen twenty-four. So I got close. We're going to slowly drag that up till we get to as close to 15.85 as we can. Bam. I think I hit 15.89. Close enough. And our bottom one is at 5.35. We're just going to bring that up to 5.56. Close enough. Oop. Ta-da! That's it. It's like drawing trend lines. It's a visual aid to help you get an idea of where price has been in the past and where it could possibly be in the future. And then you're going to implement your strategy based on whatever target you think that that price could retrace. So why would we, why would we think it's going to retrace at any certain level? Well, we can go back in history. To its last movement and its last movement took it from about two dollars and fifty cents to a high of about eight dollars and fourteen cents and then it retraced back to five dollars and fifty five cents so the distance between two dollars and eighty five cents and eight dollars all right, about $5.55, that's about a 50% retracement. So, buttons on your underwear, we could expect a 50% retracement on this next movement. That's not unreasonable. Hmm? And that's about where it is now. We're, we're, it's actually at a 60, in the 61% range. But... The bottom Bollinger Band is still way down there by 550. And 
there is no reason to think that it couldn't go there again which if you're in a position already that could be scary so that's why you should be using stops and following your rules I personally expect the price to go below the SMA again until it gets more news it's our that that news that's kind of, that's why that price is popping uh, someone found that news and I'm sure that's why it's moving already is because of that news that merger uh, whatever news that oh it was phase two data my bad that phase two data report that came out may push it higher uh, whatever pushed it this high recently so we're gonna set a target let's say 887 let's just pick a target below market price below where it is now and I'll, I'll ride on KZIA with you and we'll see uh, we'll see if we can successfully trade that using support and resistance and, and Fibonacci alone and then uh, maybe we can get into some more details this is just how to set up Fibonacci how to draw it um, I'll do more videos on how to actually use it so thank you Tammy Hightower in the group for asking this question how to use Fibonacci and it's that simple just click and drag from support to resistance from a recent low to the recent high and it's giving you visual targets of possible support and resistance where that price could possibly reverse or dip lower and again uh, do your own research this is how I use Fibonacci there's there may be other ways other uh, you know people with training videos how to use Fibonacci this was just a simple example of how to how to set it up on your charts use the use the daily charts for Fibonacci and drag it from the recent lows to the recent highs thanks you guys later